apart from lifestyle factors, there are some pathological conditions that can affect the testicular function. A principal among them is diabetes and undiagnosed diabetes and uncontrolled diabetes is a very common cause of borderline abnormalities in the semen parameters. Having said that, there are thyroid disorders also, hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, where thyroid is underfunctional or overfunctional, can also lead to abnormalities in the semen parameters. There's a hormone called as prolactin, which comes from the brain, pituitary gland which if secreted in very high levels can also cause problems in the spermatogenesis or sperm generation. Now, with respect to only testicular function, by knowing the hormones FSHLS and testosterone, we are able to sometimes interpret as to whether testicular malfunction is because of a malfunction inherent to testis or the signal from the brain is lagging or being signaled more. Now, for example, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism is a condition wherein the brain is secreting very minimal amounts of FSHLH hormones due to which the testis is also not performing the way it should. And there is a condition called as hypergonadotropic hypogonadism wherein the testis itself is failing for some reason and there is a very high level of these hormones called as FSHLH. These tests help us understand where exactly the cause is for an abnormal semen parameter. But it is also important to know that only in about 20% of the cases, 10 to 20% of the cases, we are able to pinpoint and say that this is the reason why the abnormality exists. Majority of the time, it is not exactly known as to why the sperm parameters are abnormal. In such situation, we call it as idiopathic cause, wherein the cause is not understood very well. We can assume that this could be either environmental or it could be partly genetic. We need to understand that we live in a very polluted environment. There is overuse of mobiles and due to which there is Wi-Fi radiations all around us all the time, 24 by 7. We also need to understand there are a lot of environmental toxins which have an effect on our reproductive function. So it's very important to be aware of our surroundings and minimize the exposure to these toxins so that we have a good potential with respect to the eggs in women and sperms and men.